Hey guys, it's Tomatoda. I got a lot of questions in my last Vogue's video, and I needed to order some acrylics this week, so I thought I'd bring you guys along the journey and show you how I did it. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert at this. Um, the last time I ordered was my first time, so I wasn't 100% sure if what I was doing was correct. I just tried my best, and luckily everything did turn out how I wanted them to. Um, so I just wanted to clarify, I am not a professional. Okay, so the first one we're gonna go over is lunachai.com's how to make acrylic charms without dyeing. So first, creating the art. Um, at least make it two times the size you plan for it, 300 dpi. And then she goes over the test cut lines so that you get like an even balance. And then um, also the color should be in CMYK. Prepping the files. So she says X marks the spot. So when you make charms and um, there's a specific place you want the hole to be, you're just gonna mark it with the X in a separate layer. And I'll show you guys um, just briefly later. Here are the different files. So it seems like um, the most recommended file type is a PSD, which is what I did. And here she goes over the pros and cons of different manufacturers. And I like this part because she shows like um, the different types of uh, what the acrylics look like. And then she goes over like a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, you guys can just check it out. Then the next one is Ink Thos's, uh Google Docs. This one is updated in March 2018. Which one was this one? Made? This was November 19, so this one's more recent. Do, 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 do. Now, this one helped me the most with the whole layering thing because I wanted to make 3D printed acrylic keychains. She also goes over the different um, pros and cons of different manufacturers. Also, if you see, side A looks like this, and side B looks like this. Yeah, so this part helped me because she shows uh, the different layerings and how she named them. So here is one layer called, is this text, which is just the X of where the hole is going to be, and artwork B, which is one side, and artwork A, which is the other side. And then she also has a transparent layer here, which I did not use because I was too scared in case it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but you guys can take a look at that. Um, yeah, and now I'm going to show you guys my files, so... Okay, so here are the files that I want to get made. I don't know if I'm going to get all of them because um, it's not too cheap, but um, I'm going to just put them in my cart and see which one I can afford and which one I um, might have to wait on. But for now, you know, this is the collection. So um, I named them according to um, the type of acrylic and the size that I want them to be. So this one is a uh, this one is the 3D acrylic in 1.5 inches. This is also 3D 1.5 inches. This is 3D in two inches. This is the regular acrylic in 1.5. Uh, same. This is the rainbow acrylic in 1.5. And these two are the rainbow acrylics in one inches. And I think one inches is the minimum size. It's the smallest size you can get on Vogue Grace. So let me show you the 3D cuz. Oh, I use Procreate for this, by the way. Um, if you look at the layers, there's only two layers, right? This one's called the top layer, and this one is the bottom layer. That's how I named it. 
Um, if I wanted to get charm holes, that's not working. Um, I'll add another layer and I'll rename it as hole. And then I will mark where I want the hole to be. Now, um, when you, when I, well, when I decide on how I want the size to be, because they're gonna have different purposes rather than charms, I, let's see. I like to size them into realistic sizes. So this one is gonna be a 1.5 inch. Fuck! Oh, my mic. So this one, I'm gonna shrink it. <laughs> Just drew on it. I'm gonna take a ruler and I'm going to measure it. Now, when you measure it, you have to also um, account for the size of this. So this one is a two inch, which doesn't mean the image is two inch. It means that the whole acrylic is two inch. So if I show you the, the tallest part, I mean the widest, I don't know what it's called. From tip here, which is the longest and tip here, it is exactly two inches. However, the image as you can see is like 1 16th of an inch, you know, short on both ends. So when I measure this, I also make sure, I'll show you guys with the background. Oh, it's invisible. So you guys can see better. I'm gonna measure it like this and like this. And the 1.5 is over here. Let's make it a little bit larger. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, so about that size. So that means uh, realistically in person that the charm is gonna be this huge or this small. For those of you who are going to get holes, you also have to uh, take an account for the whole uh, placement. I don't know how to explain it. Let me show you. So I'm going to rename it hole. I'm going to mark it X. Now, um, the, the outline of your charm is going to probably look something like this, right? So say, for example, it's this is the outline. Then when you measure it, it's not from zero to, it's not from zero to 1.5 here. It's actually, it actually starts from here to here. So it's gonna shrink a bit more. Yeah, something like that. So keep in mind that you know, this also accounts for the fucking whole size. Blah. And then um, these are all regulars. So it's only one layer. Now I'm going to rename these later on my computer before I submit them. Uh, but for now, I'm going to take a screenshot as reference so that I know what sizes and what type of like I wanted them to be um, and I'm gonna import them oh I'm not gonna import I'm gonna export them sorry to my uh, laptop as a PSD file I'm gonna put all the files in here and then I'm gonna open back up the website uh, so I have the three tabs open, which is 3D printing, transparent, and rainbow. Now, the reason why I use the Vogue Grace's website um, instead of Alibaba is because having to ask for quotes gives me anxiety. I know it sounds stupid, but it reminds me of having to haggle prices in Korea, and I absolutely hated doing that because it always felt like bullshit. I prefer prices that are set, and listed up front. Thankfully, Vogue Race has their own website and it caters to my every needs. Starting with the 3D acrylic keychain, here's the price for one, 
and you have these different types and you have these different sizes you can also order accessories and the quantity and as you can see the more you order the more uh, bigger the discount is which is pretty awesome and uh, here they show you a video of 3d charms but it was just better seeing it in person than the video because I was still kind of confused uh, da, 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 see, uh, more info and then here uh, the the different types that they listed they give you an example of how it's layered so I am going to use a double board front side epoxy because although I don't need this layer of Arto work one I do want this epoxy layering um, in the front and this acrylic in the bottom if you remember I named my uh, what's it called artwork as top layer and bottom layer uh, you can I think name it as like artwork one two and three maybe this is what they prefer but uh, just in case I don't know I was a little bit iffy about naming it this way so I named it top and bottom and they got the idea because it's a human you know working on it thankfully and then this is the glitter one and here this was not here when I ordered it the first time I think this is a new update which is pretty good because it seems to uh, they have a lot of details um, answered or a lot more questions answered in detail compared to what they had before and let's see I'm gonna just quickly go over them uh, we will send the outline to you, the cut line, to confirm within 7 days uh, via email after payment. And then they have a product design template, which I haven't seen before, which I was looking for everywhere, but they finally have this here. Uh, but it's for um, products like the umbrella or the, the candy keychain or uh, their washi tape. So if you guys are interested in that, go to this drive and then get the template. Uh, if you do a shaker acrylic keychain, you see here that uh, the front and the, the front and the back is going to be the same. And then you write the shaker and its quantity. Let me give you an example of my shaker. Oh fuck, wrong one. Force quit. Okay, I don't know what the fuck. Don't send. Bitch. Stop it. Anyways, um, if you see here, I have the body in one. And then I put the small parts into each separate layer just in case. And then I have the whole X here. Um, it's. I think it's pretty simple, right? I'm not sure what a serial charm is. Now this part was actually pretty awesome, not gonna lie. So um, if you have, uh, if you're gonna order the same size and same type of acrylics, you can put them into one file and count it as like one whole purchase. So um, for example, so let's see. This and this one are going to be the same type of acrylic and the same size, right? So that means instead of having to order it separately each time, so if I ordered 15 or 15 of these, I would only get a 34% discount. So instead of ordering it one 15, 34 discount and separately again, one 14, 34% discount, what I can do is actually add these together. So 14 plus 14 is 24, then that means it qualifies it qualifies for 43% discount instead. And the way to do this is you put the name, the quantity, and the accessory number. So I'm gonna name this hmm, Meow and I'm going to order let me look. How many should I order? I didn't even think about how much I should order. I'll order 12 of each. I'll name it Meow. 12 
pieces and no excess capitalized no accessories I name this one hammy 12 pieces no accessories then um, it shows you in the uh, explanation you have to put it in a zip file compress two items here it is I'm gonna name it 3d uh, acrylics there we go name this 3d acrylics and let's see yeah I, get, I think that's it okay so i'm gonna put this in my cart so here is the 3d double board that i want i want them to be 1.5 so no accessories choose file desktop acrylic and put this zip file and then 12 plus 12 is 24 all right now you get that 43 percent discount baby and here we have it so i got 24 so the price went from 70 80 to 40 36 yay now um here's just more going back to the file of requirements and then the delivery yeah anyways that's the basis of it i'm gonna order now this one which is two inches so four two inches no accessory choose file here it is Oh fuck! Shit. Uh, I'm gonna remove this because I messed up. Also, if you see here, upload a file. If you click on it, it'll download, and then you can actually check if your file was correct or not. So here's the correct um, input, and I'm gonna do the same for the rest. Now um, I'm going to get. The double-sided printing front side epoxy of course i don't need double printing for what i'm going to be using the acrylics for however um, i'm sure vogue race can accommodate for it and maybe give you a new price i think because it's not double printing it's one printing but that requires me to message them and wait for a response and i like i said i don't want to go through all that so i am actually just willing to pay for it Okay, now um, I think I have everything in my cart. Total comes out to 180, not too bad actually. I can afford this. Now special instructions for sale. Seller. First, I'm gonna write that none of these require holes. So last time when I ordered, um, I was missing one shaker charm and the person who was contacting me or who was talking to me said that i can just mention it next time i order so i'm gonna mention that okay checkout taxes and shipping calculated at checkout i won't be um showing the whole screen because it does have my personal information make sure your address is correct and the shipping method expedited and the total is 30 dollars yeah it's eh, but you know whatever i'm willing to pay for it okay and my order has gone through yay okay well let's go to my account and here it is okay so it's been a while and today is the 16th I made my order on the 25th, which would have been a Friday. So from this Friday, the 25th, I waited until the 5th and that's 10 days, um, which is I think like seven business 
days ish whatever and they said they would get to me within seven business days with the with the cut lines and stuff right however as i checked on the fifth i got no email or no contact so i was a little bit worried and then i checked my paypal and it said on my paypal that my payment was pending and i didn't know why because i had more than enough money so i looked into it and the paypal assistant said it's because uh the merchant hasn't processed your payment so it was okay on my side but their side didn't accept it yet maybe they're backed up you know there's i'm sure there's a reason and then on the 8th i got an email um october 8th uh that said please send me design of your shaker keychain so i was like all right i got a first contact and I sent them the attachment and when I checked my PayPal October 8th, it said that uh, it was completed. It wasn't pending anymore. <laughs> then I waited for the cut line. Let's see. So this was October 8th and I got an email today on the 16th. So this is, I guess, technically within seven business days. The person who's doing mine is named Candy. And hi, please confirm this outline and attachment. If no problem, we will produce it. I haven't checked it out yet, so I'm gonna open it right now. Here is uh, the cut lines. So now I'm going to check if everything is here. Um, I'm using that screenshot I took uh, in the beginning of the video of my iPad just to check. So this was the missing one. It has all the pieces, no accessories. Okay, no hole, no hole, no hole, no, no holes and accessories. All right, let's see. I ordered 1.5 rainbow. These two were one inches, rainbow. Even if you have um, the same image, make sure they uh, show you, show you, show them to you twice, I guess. For every time you you put it in your cart, make sure there's. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, yeah. Now, as for how many did I order, I actually don't remember that. Meow, 12 pieces. Let's go, 12 pieces. I didn't even write how many. Rainbow, I didn't even write how many. Cat, 16. 16. Shiba. Oof. Um. For Shiba, I asked for 12 pieces, and Fish, I asked for 15. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I don't even remember why I did it like that. I guess, I mean, I could go back and correct it, but I don't think it makes that big of a difference. I'll just keep this as is. Everything looks good. Everything looks like it's here. No holes. Blah, 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 and I am going to respond saying everything is muy bueno. And then we just wait for the actual product to arrive. And that's pretty much it. I know this tutorial was really long, but once you try it for yourself, I think it gets easier um, every time or like the next time you do it. So yeah, I hope it helped. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.